Sitting on the dock of the bay, wasting time, go away. Sitting on the dock of the bay, wasting time. Ah, ah. Hey, y'all, how y'all doing? I'm drinking this black tea with cinnamon, cayenne pepper, ginger, turmeric, lemon juice, and honey. My brother put me on there. How y'all doing, man? Uh, I seen y'all got the title. Gene Deal versus the Behavior Panel. I got the Sidewire Fair. I guess everybody's a little busy today. I'm not going to hold this. It's a couple of things that I want to talk about and I'm going to talk about before I get into this whole thing. Um, since my name is the topic of YouTube now, and we got a lot of people. Um, Punachi, what up with you, Punachi? We got a lot of people that want to run back and um, say whatever they want to say on Gene Deal. Like Fox News did. Um, y'all remember when I told y'all that uh, Fox News, they... Um, said that I said, did he be spiking girls' drinks? And I told y'all that I, uh, my broke ass paid the lawyer, or uh, my broke ass got my lawyer uh, to write a letter to Fox News to retract the statement that they did. Um, I want to keep y'all up on what happened with that. Fox News got back in touch with my lawyer. Let me just, for the people who don't know, my lawyer wrote Fox News a letter regarding them saying some things that I didn't say. Brian Stokes, young, brilliant mind. That was the lawyer. That was the. That's my lawyer that wrote Fox News that layered letter. If I was technically inclined, I would have been able to do that. That's the letter. Fox News got back in touch with my lawyer. Missy, can I? And this is the letter they wrote my lawyer right there. That's from Fox, Fox News. And this is what they said. Thank you for taking the call from my colleague Steve and me this morning. As I explained this week, we received the mail, your letter dated March 28, 2004, concerning your client, Gene Deal, and the reference of him on a Chiron doing a March 26th episode of Jesse Watcher's Primetime. We have reviewed your letter and looks into the matter. We have reviewed your letter and looked into the matter. In an effort to resolve this matter, but with no admissions or either actual or potential liability and without waiver 
of with without waiver and with full reservations on Fox News media rights. Fox News is complying with your request to take down and not further publish a version or a clip of the March 26th episode that contains the Chiron reference, Mr. Deal. We trust that this resolves this matter. Now, That's what they wrote to my lawyer. I'm not going to have nobody lie on my name. And people are telling me, yo, Gene, you in a position right now that people are going to come at you and say little things. And people are going to come at you They've been doing it all along, but now when you get hotter than fish grease and everybody want to want you to be a part of a show and people want to call you up and everything like that, because I definitely turn down more videos than I take. I turn down more videos than I take. You know what I'm saying? And now people want me because they feel like it's going to make their show grow or hot. They want to use my name, say my things, and talk all kind of bull crap. I'm going to address this one time in the room. I was going to address MC Gag, but y'all heard his remedial rap, so it doesn't even, I would never. I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into that, man. You know, because I own a deed. I own a deed. And Bigum, the people that I invited to my cookouts and everything like that, they see how I live. He never been where I live at. So he can say whatever he want to say. We see his pain. We see his hurt. It's like, uh, honey, you throw out your car or you threw out your house or something. She's hurt. So we're not going to dwell on his misfortune because I rather listen to me and I swear for living God, I rather have my poor than his rich any day. You get what I'm saying? I rather have my poor than his rich any day of the week. It's a couple of things I do want to address. And because I know this dude do got money and I know this dude be talking a lot of shit. Whack, let me say this to you, brother. I know you doing that shit for a show. I know you doing that to bring people on in on this. But let me ask you a question. If you take a nigga to a gay bathhouse that's in the village, a Turkish bath, that's in the village and everybody that walked through the door that you see your client going to appear to maybe from the LGBT community or gay or whatever like that, you take him into those places and you stop at the door Have anybody ever said, you ever heard the term terminology? If it walk like a duck, talk like a duck, it might be a duck. So brother, if I take a cl client into a gay bar, 
I'm going to think that that client I take into the gay bar is gay. I could be wrong. He just might just like the gay atmosphere, like to be in there dancing and talking with men or whatever like that. It's not the same situation as going into a Turkish bathhouse. But still in all, if I take a client to a certain situation or a certain place, it's going to appear to me that that client may indulge in the festivities and uh, uh, in, in that place in which he is going to. I could be wrong. And if I am wrong, okay. I'm not wrong about one thing, and that's Anina Brown. Anina Brown. Anina Brown is a member, y'all. Oh, Anina Brown. Anina Brown. Anita Brown is a member, y'all. Oh, Nina Brown, yeah, Nina Brown. Anita Brown is a member, y'all. Thank you for your membership, Miss Brown, to the Gene Deal Show. Now, whack. You talk a lot of shit like you was there. Please tell the people that you wasn't. You was not there, you wasn't around, and nobody talked to you until you got cool with Kay and got in the business with dealing with Jimmy or game them and stuff like that. Stop it, bruh. You wasn't in the business right back then. But you got these kids fooled like you was the man. Stop it. You're going to run into some problems, bruh. Now, I'm getting them calls that K was getting about you. Another thing I want to address. Suge Knight is finally getting tired of these people lying about what they do and what they did during the pox situation. And uh, he might be getting ready to address, it appeared to me when he did that show, he might be getting ready to address a lot of things that people want to know. Margot, go, go, what up with you? Yo, and then somebody else was saying something to me about I'm trying to separate the members from the uh what you I'm not trying to do none of that, man. I'm not trying to do none of that. You know, check this out. Hold up. First of all, Troy Stafford, if I walk you through my house, this is my house. If I walk you through my house and show you all six floors, you will be amazed. This young smart motherfucker in 1999 bought this shit. And I'm not going to address you with that stupid shit. We're just going to get you up out of here. And... If my moderators are on here, if y'all have anything to ask me something about uh, some old ignorant shit, get the fuck up out of here. I don't have time for that. And if I show you my basement, you will be like, nigga, it's a shoe store. It's a shoe store. It's a shoe store and it's not a bed in the basement. So your boy is a liar. You on here. He's you you on here with that bullshit. And matter of fact, let me do this to my people. Let me do this to my people. 
we're going to go down to the basement. This is my basement. You see that shit right there? That's a shoe store. That's a shoe store. This is big gym. You don't see nobody else shit down here. This is my basement. That's a hat store. That's a shoe store. That's big jean shit. That's my washer. That's my dryer. That's my cat thing. This is a basement. That's my basement. Do you see a bed or anything down this motherfucker? Your boy is a liar. He's a liar. And I shouldn't have to prove that to anybody. I got six floors. That's one floor I just went up to. This is another floor right here where I do my show at. That's another floor. I could keep going to my kitchen. Get out of here, man. Let me finish my show. Sorry about that for the real members who come here, but you know this dude is lying. His channel is failing. You understand? We got some people that come to both of us. We got some people that come to both of us. You understand? I've been by my fireplace. I ain't got no auntie or nobody live here. Gene Deal name. Go check. Gene Deal name is on this fucking deed. Deed, nigga. The second book is on Kindle right now. Uh, let me go through this shit because this is more important than this asshole that he got all these trolls coming to my page and now they look real stupid. Taj, do me a favor, bro. If you see anything that somebody say something about this lying ass nigga, nigga, take care of your child support. Take care of your, your dope fiend mama. That's what you should be talking about. I'm going to do it anyway because Blake 3, a uh, Blake 3, a uh, Blake 3 is a member, y'all. Oh, Blake 3, a uh, Blake 3, a uh, Blake 3 is a member, y'all. Now, Blake 3, yeah, Blake 3, a uh, Blake 3 is a member. Now, now we got, we got Tyler Ramsey, Tyler Ramsey, Tyler Ramsey member, y'all. Yeah, new member, Tyler Ramsey. Tyler Ramsey is a member, y'all. Hey, Tyler Ramsey. Uh, Tyler Ramsey. Uh, Tyler Ramsey is a member, y'all. Oh, Blake three. Tyler Ramsey, Blake three. Yeah, Tyler Ramsey, Blake three is a member to the Gene Deal Show. Thank y'all. Appreciate that. You know, this nigga wish he was me. He want me to talk about him, so he'll give him something to talk about. You understand? It gives him something to talk with us. But like Dane Dash said, he was a cameraman. Dane Dash said he was a cameraman. We know, yo, that footage that y'all going to watch, if y'all go to Tubu and watch that shit, he stole, like, listen to me, he shot the shit. I'm not going to lie. But this is what happened. Funk Master Flex and him went into business together. Fluck Master Flex said, I'll let you shoot this video stuff at the tunnel. Because the tunnel was not letting know anybody. He was a nobody. The tunnel was not letting anybody come in there to shoot nothing. Do you understand? They let Fuck Master Flex. Under the guideline that he was doing it for Fuck Master Flex. Flex was like, yo, since I got you to let you shoot that from the camera he stole from the, the white boy Belong, the camera he stole from him. Frontmaster said, Frontmaster Flex said it just like this. I'm going to let you shoot that because that's the only reason you could do that at the tunnel. It was because of Frontmaster Flex. Hold on. It was because of Frontmaster Flex. I'm writing something down right quick, y'all. I'm sorry about that.
So that's how he got a chance to shoot it. When it was time for them to make the deal with live music to put it out, Choke got mad. Oh, I mean, MC Gag. Sorry about that. He got mad and ran off with it. That's why nobody is effing with him in the business. Nobody. He ran off with the Rockefeller stuff. He ran off with... Um, he ran off with the Rockefeller stuff and he ran off with um, front massive flexing and things. So then he get blackballed and beat up at the same time. He got blackballed and beat up. I think they gave him like 27,000 or something like that. I got more shit. I got more than that in the car accident. They gave him like 27000 because he couldn't wait for the lawsuit. He couldn't wait to do a, cause he snitched a deposition. He had to do a deposition to a lawyer, talk to them and stuff like, so do you want to go to court with it or do you want to handle it outside of court? Come on, man. Ain't got time for that, please. I, I told you I didn't want to talk about that. What I want to talk about is Gemini 605, a Gemini 605, a Gemini, a Gemini, a, Ge a Gemini 605 is a member. Gemini 605 is a member. Gemini 605. Now we got J King Boston 7. J King Boston 7. J King Boston 7. J King Boston is a new member, y'all. A J King Boston, J King Boston, J King Boston, y'all. J King Boston Seven is a member, yeah, and it's Teller J. Who oh, got a Teller J? Teller J is a member, y'all. A Teller J, a Teller J, hey, a Teller J is a member, y'all. Teller J, a Teller J, a Teller J is a member, y'all. Those are the members, y'all. Thank y'all, man. Y'all hold up on this deal membership, y'all, man. Why y'all want to be a member of the Gene Deal? No, thank y'all. Peace, y'all. Peace, y'all. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Blake Three, what up, what up, what up? Yo, listen here, man. You know, guys want to lie and say all the kind of thing because they could do that on the internet. You know what I'm saying? But the thing about it is, like my lawyer said to Fox and everything like that, and they cannot malign my name because now I'm considered not just a YouTube guy. I'm more of a public figure. So I got to be more courteous, leave the cursing out the window, all this other stuff like that, if I wanted to continue and not be caught up in no bull crap behind this YouTube stuff. Now, before I start this, I gotta say this, man, and I'm 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 a I'm gonna leave this alone. And that's a Kirk Dog Miller, 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 Kirk Dog Miller. He's a member. He's a member. He's a member, y'all. He's a member. A Kirk Dahl Miller, Kirk Dahl Miller, Kirk Dahl Miller is a member, y'all. Thank you for your membership, Mr. Kirk Dog Miller. I appreciate it. Now, let's go to this shit, man. Let's get to this stuff. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's make it happen. I wrote this stuff down because I want these people's names to be known. All right? I wanted these people's names to be addressed. There's a thing called the behavior plant panel. These are some individuals that have studied, have not only studied the behavior pattern of individuals, they dealt in forensics that deal in body language and people telling the truth. And they have a channel on YouTube called the Behavior Panel. Now, 
I didn't know this shit was going on, man, and I was shocked. I was getting calls from everywhere. Deacon's daughter, Dr. DaCosta, uh, Miss Johnson. Hey, Miss John. Hey, Miss Johnson. <laughs> hey, Miss Johnson. <laughs> Them niggas got quiet. They seen I use my basement as a shoe collar, as, as a shoe, as a shoe closet. <laughs> Thank you, MC gag. I use my basement as a shoe car. Nigga, who got a basement with nothing but shoes and hats in it? And that's what they use it for. <laughs> Cry. Cry, baby. Cry, baby. <laughs> With the old washer and dryer. <laughs> yeah, Crystal 225. I know, Mama. <laughs> Yo, don't listen to these clouds out here. Well, this behavior panel consists of four men. I guess they have crossed the country, crossed the war world. One sound like he was from Britain or from um, uh, the UK or something like that. Um, California. Some sound like they was from Cali. But one name is Greg Hartley, Chase Hughes, Scott Rose, and Mark Bowden. I'm going to tell y'all what I'm going to do. My documentary that nobody ever saw when I was telling the whole stuff about how Big got killed and what's going out on, I'm going to have my man ask them to sign what they call um, a, 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 not a non-disclosure. It's, it's where they cannot release this to nobody, but I want them to go through the tape. They can't play the music on the tape or nothing like that because it'll get me in trouble and they can't show it, but they can show everything that I say on the tape. I want them to look at it. I'm going to do this for y'all. I want those guys to look at it and use their, expect, their expertise to see who's lying and who's telling the truth. I'm, oh God. Diane C, you said Chase got a, oh my God. I hope he can get over that, man. They said Mr. Chase got a brain tool. Man, I'm sorry about that one, bro. That shit made me fuck, that shit fucked up, bro. Corey Cuzzo, what up with you? Oh, my cousin Corey. He said me coming up here. Detroit in the house. Damn right, Corey. I might invite I might invite some people over too. A couple moderators and stuff like that over too, Corey. She, she can you really grill like that? He told him, can I get on the grill? <laughs> hold up, hold up. Check it out. This is my cousin. What'd he say? What up, cuz? I'll be up there on the 19th to the 20th side. Let me get on the grill. No, because I'm just in the basement. <laughs> Man, look at him. <laughs> so anyway, these guys are going to make up their lies. They're going to try to bring y'all to their shows and everything like that. But how can a nigga make up a lie when there's paperwork out there when he wasn't paying his child support? Never had an issue. Wasn't paying his child. Shut up before I bring it out. I'm petty like that. You think 50 is petty. Y'all call 50 petty. Leave me alone, man.
Oh, he ain't gonna go around and show it. He ain't gonna go around and show it. He ain't gonna go around and show it. Cause I can show you every room in this joint, all six floors. And I can show you the deed and who the deed name in. Matter of fact, he said, don't take no shows, don't take no show. What both of us just go off YouTube for three months. Let's do that. We both got a YouTube channel. I'm not gonna stop taking money when people want to certain people want me to do certain things. But let's stop going on YouTube for three months. We both got a channel. Keep give up our channel for three months and see who be in the shelter with their mama. Leave me the fuck alone, boy. All right, so now, yo, we got to, yo, listen to me, man. I can't go no further right now. Listen, I'm sorry about this, y'all. I can't go no further. Our Father, which art in heaven, I thee, our name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. The God, the kingdom, the power, the glory. Forever and ever. Amen. Oh, Heavenly Father, open up the heavens and make your hand touch Mr. Chase Hughes. Any illness, any sickness, any tumors, any cancer, anything that he has, please, Lord, take it out that man's body. It don't belong there, Jesus. It don't belong there. Take it away from this man. In Jesus' name, amen. Yo, man, that's deep. That's deep. I just found that out, man. I just found that out. Somebody said that he had that, man. And this man spent the time on this bullshit to do a behavior thing on me. He did a behavior thing on me. I don't know these people from a can of paint. They're well respected in their community. And what I mean by in their community, when they do this work for uh, politicians, dignitaries, governments, uh, people uh, that's uh, owners and job things and stuff like that, when they're doing polygraphs and all this stuff like that, they're well respected in their fields. That is... Uh, who said that Yvette, Yvette, that's the uh, behavior panel. Mr. Greg Hartley, Chase Hughes, Scott Ross, and Mark Bowden. I'm gonna take my DVD that I paid for, my broke ass paid for to get it done. And the people who seen it, they say, yo, Gene, that shit could be, M. Rec told me, yo, man, we could put that shit out. That shit'll do numbers. I'm saying now because I was told that I didn't have um, opt out insurance and I didn't have the right to use big music in there. Heavy D, some music I used in there. I didn't have the right and and you have to have the clearances for it. But it was greatly done. It was done real good. I just need the clearances for the stuff and I didn't have it and I couldn't get it. I couldn't afford to do it. They was talking about too much money. Yeah, the copyrights. Thank you, Jerry Ricks. Thank you. So now, uh, I'm gonna send it to them though. But uh, they gotta just send me that they're not going to release it to nobody else. They're gonna keep it amongst themselves. Or I'm just gonna have, uh, what you call, just break down what I was saying. I want them to see the whole thing. I want them to rock out. Then I have to pay somebody to edit it. I'm just going to trust those guys. I, I, I trust them over there, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know them from a can of paint. You know what I'm saying? But I trust them over there. You understand? Um, 
I'm gonna have to. I want to dunk because I wanted to do. I want y'all to see everything that I've ever said, everything that I ever talked about, that I said I knew about personally, that I knew about personally. I want y'all to see and let them see that. Let them tell y'all what I'm doing, that I've been telling the truth. Some of y'all already know. Y'all don't have to have it. Bird's Eye Media out there with that California love. <laughs> thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Let me see you up in here. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Anita. What? Thank you, Anita. That'll help my broke ass. <laughs> Yo, these niggas are straight clowns. I came on this internet to give y'all all the information that was happening with Bad Boy and everything like that. I told y'all that when I jumped on it. Y'all didn't have to come and become a member. Y'all didn't have to come to the show and get to know who Gene was, but y'all chose to. Y'all seen that my authenticity, y'all seen that I wasn't hiding anything. Y'all seen that um, at times I could be funny. Sometimes I, 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 I could be fearless. Sometimes I can fucking cry because God has changed me into that. But don't let these niggas fool you. They don't want to be on the other side, not one tear I drop. They don't want to be on the other side, not one tear I drop. And anybody in the street that knows me, anybody in the streets that I've been around, know I love hard and I go hard in the motherfucking pain. Hello? Hello? This phone, I gotta get a new phone. Hold on, y'all. Call niece. Calling niece Herbert D. Home. Hello. Hello. Ever since I was pointing this phone at the fucking taking pictures, I'm blaming on the Eclipse. It's been messed up. Yeah. And my whole thing about it is, is this, man. We, I came on here to use this as a tool to let y'all know what was up. Y'all decided that y'all want to make Gene have 140 something thousand uh, followers. I don't come on here every day, three, four times, five times a day. I could talk about regular stuff, uh, shit that's happening in the, uh, in the um, media. I could talk about O.J. Simpson, Simpson, and I don't think that he was the killer of Nicole. Nobody, I believe, would do some shit like that to their wife with the kids in the house in the manner in which was done and then left all that blood in those tracks and everything. Nah, I don't, they would have did it a whole different way. OJ was like America's Uncle Tom at one time. He could have put her in a hearse car and drove her off the cliff and jumped out or something. <laughs> I don't believe he would have did that in his house with his kids like that. No, no. That seemed like some serial killer shit. Somebody who was used to doing some stuff like that. Or may have gotten away with something like that before. 
I could talk about things like that. But let me get back to this. These men went through and used their expertise. I wasn't scared. When I was looking at it, they're going to use their expertise to tell what they believe and what they know to be true. I need y'all to go and look at that. It's called the behavior panel. Some of y'all already know about it. Let me look at this. Express Sunshine out there in St. Louis. Oh. And then they all these cats became mad. You know why? They can't hate on one of the greatest performers of our time. They can't hate on one of the greatest entrepreneurs of our time in the hip hop thing. And that was 50 Cent. Yo, he killed them. He hurt their heart. Shout out to Doc. She, she sent it to me. She, he, she, she hurt their heart. He hurt their heart. He hurt their heart. Let me just say something. Let me see something. I have the savoir fair. I'm the reason everybody's here. I said, get up. I got that from Gene. He been telling y'all the truth about Diddy for years. Shout out to Branson. I can't see the other thing is low. There's something else. Did you hear that? When 50 got, gave me that shout out, them niggas went crazy. Not 50, 50, no, 50, 50, don't put this stamp on that nigga. Don't put the, 50, don't put the stamp on that nigga. These niggas think it's a joke. I'm looking for it right now. Hold up, y'all. I gotta go get this shit redone. Cause it broke. It broke. I gotta go get it redone. Look at this, y'all. That's my company name. That's been my company for years. That was my security company name. When we was on the plane going to Vegas, we stopped in St. Louis. 50 asked me what the Savoir Fair means. The Webster has changed this uh, definition over the years, but the meaning of Savoir Fair is having the meaning of the ability to get out any situation at any given time and be of any, any social, social or 
or any kind of social environment at any time. The ability to get out any situation and adapt to any social situation at any given time. Social tech. Three one three, a member all the time. So now, he did that and put it in the song and gave me the props for it. I got the whole oh, niggas is mad now. They making shit up. They these men took that time. And you know what they said at the end of the thing? Because I'm not going to spoil it for y'all. Yeah, I am going to spoil it for y'all. Because old boy said, if I know anything, I'm going to tell it. So let me tell it. They said, y'all been waiting for us to do a interview on somebody that y'all think may be lying or y'all think may not be telling the truth and see if they telling the truth. Now we did an interview on somebody who's telling the truth. Now we've done an interview on somebody who's telling the truth. Y'all can get my new book on Kindle. I want y'all to know that. It's on my new book is on Kindle for all you Kindle readers right now. I'm waiting for them to approve it. Thank you, Cedric Lynn, for that cash out. Appreciate that. These guys took their time and they went through it. And each one of them gave their own opinion. And you know what I like about what their opinion, what they said? They said, we don't talk to each other about the opinions and the things that we come up with. We do it right here on, live on the air. Somebody said, Suge Knight said, a, a real nigga could repeat what he said, and that's you, Big Gene. Karepi Corleone. Yeah, Corleone. Suge Knight told Choke some shit. Choke is mad because I repeated Suge Knight. He don't want nobody to talk about Suge or what Suge do or what Suge say but him. You understand? He said Reggie was lying on Suge. Some of that may be true. Some of it may not. I'm not getting into that. I don't even care. But he don't want nobody to talk about Suge Knight. He wants Suge to be his pen pal himself. He just want to be Suge pen pal. He got a thing about being pen pals with prisoners. I guess when Puff go to jail, he'd be the first one down there putting money on Puff books, talking about he want to be his pen pal. You lying on Puff! Huh. Me and a whole lot of other ones, huh, Mr. Cho? <laughs> Mr. MC Gag. God, I keep I keep forgetting that MC gag. He loving this because his numbers is going up because y'all watching them now. They were going down. He, he took a hit. About a couple of thousand people left his channel. When uh, they found out he just been lying and now they seen how my basement really look. Did I use it for a shoe closet? <laughs> you want to see what I use the attic for? <laughs> I 
Hey, Robin, thank you for that cash app. Appreciate you. Y'all making him mad right now. Them cash apps is coming in. Libra Queen, a member for 15 months. Damn, I've been on this shit that long, mama. Yo, I should take y'all to the thing. I should take y'all for a whole look. <laughs> I should take y'all for a whole look. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> nigga don't even nigga don't deserve that type of attention. Anyway. So these top body language and behavior experts that countries pay them. Politicians pay them. And Big Gene broke ass just got a free evaluation. <laughs> Big Gene broke ass just got a free analysis. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yo, look what dude said. <laughs> Puff gonna be, <laughs> yo, MC Gag gonna be writing Dear Puffy Letters. <laughs> you are, why not? You already doing it for sure. <sighs> this is a crappy line, dude. Usually my live will be a little bit upbeat and everything like that. Yeah, okay, Blake. Okay, Blake. Okay, Blake. <laughs> okay, Blake. You think <laughs> what little he <laughs> okay, Blake. He rather put yo listen to me. Instead of showing y'all that hundred dollar bill he was taking to put on R. Kelly book, he should have been giving that towards the child support he owed his daughter. <laughs> Nigga, don't play. It's real over here. I got a deed. I got a deed. In my name. In my name. December of 1999. August the 13th, 1999 had a real shootout. A real shootout. High speed chasing Harlem. A real shootout, nigga. I'm not bragging on that. I said, no, nah, I can't live in Harlem. I'm going to keep the apartment, though. And bought a house. Find somebody else to play with. Playtime is over. I know OG Patrice. And everything. I'm sorry, mama. Nah. Nigga need to find somebody else to play with. He he made his YouTube channel on Dame Dash and Jay-Z. And then he gonna talking about I made mines on Line on Puff. But here I got four experts in body languages. Four top people. You see how God is? You see how God just knocked his shit down? Do y'all see how God just knocked this shit down? I wasn't expecting him to come with this whole, <laughs> this whole YouTube stuff talking about, telling lies about where I live at, my basement. Yeah, I live in the basement and everything. Oh, okay, it's part of my house. Yeah, I do. All right, all right. But I keep my shoes there. <laughs> I keep my baseball caps there. I haven't straightened up in a while.
I haven't straightened it up in a while. Hmm. Cedric Lindsay, thank you for the cash app. Robin, thank you for the cash app. Catherine Smith, thanks for the cash app. Stephen E. Smith Sr., thank you for the cash app. I appreciate you. I got somebody that somebody told me that could help me clean up a little bit. They've been coming over for a couple of hours. All I do know is Trey J. A Trey J. A Trey J is a member, y'all. Oh, Trey J. A Trey J. A Trey J is a member, y'all. Go. A Trey J. A Trey J. A Trey J. Thank you for your membership. Appreciate it. Listen here, man. Y'all got to go see these guys on that behavior panel. You got to go see them. But when 50 said that, that made these niggas hot. That made these niggas, that little 15 minutes of fame made these niggas hot. They just, oh, no, no, 50, no. I got that from G. Listen to me, man. Only way Diddy ain't going to jail is an ice cube can land in hell. If ice cube can make it in hell, Diddy ain't going to jail. Those folks they don't make many mistakes. They didn't plant it, people. They didn't put people there to get their shit, to get their information. And they waited. They waiting. They want to make it quick and lay it a boom. I believe they want the dude to say, yo, listen here, man. We don't want to waste the tax player, pay us money. Plead out to this. Do this little time if you can. And go head on. Peter Pellington, thank you, sir. You enjoy your night too. I believe that's what they really want to do. I can't see. I don't know what's going on, but. Uh, I'm still not autographing any books. I'm still not doing any of that right now. I'll let you guys know when that comes available. Uh, I'm waiting for them to approve the new book. It's taking a long time now. Still in review. Y'all can get it on Kindle. Life after death when bodyguard and hip hop star. Y'all can get it on Kindle right now. Listen to me, man. I get upset because, you know, I hate liars and I hate thieves. And your boy is both of them. He mad, he upset. Because I said, like I said before, when I told him about somebody running up on Pop Kosh, that my man Daddy told me that, told me that, told us that, he told me and my, my brother that, Slick. Um, he said Suge Knight told him the same thing. He probably upset because Suge Knight told him that don't say nothing to nobody about it. And when she kept on, listen to me, bro. Let me just put this out there so we don't have anything else to say. Nene! 
Somebody delivering something. Sorry about that. Nene, who's that? Oh, for my fireplace, tell me I'll be up there in a minute. Oh yeah, broke ass, getting a new fireplace. I'll be up there in a minute, Nene. All right. Um, got somebody. Uh, they're gonna install a new fireplace. Let me just walk with y'all <clears throat> while I do this. You know that was the basement floor. Remember? Well, let, let, let me just do it right here. I live in the basement, right? That was the basement floor down there with my shoes. My shoe closet. <laughs> now, this is where I do my show at. This is called a sub basement. It goes out to my garage. I got a little bathroom right there. It goes out to my backyard. <laughs> so that's two floors right there we're going up to another floor so be with me one minute sir i'm doing a little show right there all right sorry about that y'all been in this area before my kitchen and that's my living room And that's my messy clothes that I got on my couch. <laughs> hey, John, I got to cut this show off, brother. I'll be with you in one second, all right? Yo, thank y'all, man. I appreciate y'all support. I appreciate y'all being here. Don't believe these clowns. This is third floor. That's going up to the fourth floor. Ladies, I know y'all like this. This is what I gave for my daughter's in a marble bathroom. This is a guest room that I got my clothes on again because it's my house. And look at Jinx over there. Hey, Jinxie mommy. <laughs> Don't believe these assholes. That's my master up there. Another floor. A whole nother floor. All right, let me go, y'all. Y'all be good. <laughs>